You are familiar with the sensation that something is off. However, there is that one individual who never loses their composure. That is the core of Stoicism, a philosophy that is applicable to modern life and not only a thing of the past. Roman Emperor and Stoic Marcus Aurelius had to deal with diseases, wars and intrigue in the palace. Nonetheless, he is recognized for his extraordinary intelligence and composure. His trade secret? He understood that although life is uncertain and frequently difficult, how we handle these difficulties is what really makes us who we are. Imagine being able to use that same power in your daily existence. From handling difficult talks to handling life's unanticipated turns. We'll go over 10 vital lessons from Stoicism in this video that will help you maintain your composure. These are not merely abstract concepts. These are tried and true tactics that can be used to tackle the problems of the 21st century. As we delve into these teachings, keep in mind that the goal is not to become emotionally detached. It's about taking control of your emotions and applying Marcus Aurelius's insight to transform every setback into a chance to get stronger and more resilient. 1. Make the most of what you can manage. In the fast-paced world of today, leading a peaceful existence can seem like an impossible feat. However, Stoicism gives a timeless pearl. Concentrate on your controllable actions. This is about using your energy wisely, not about disregarding the obstacles in life. Consider yourself a contemporary warrior who fights in daily life rather than combat. Your armaments, your decisions, deeds and mindset. Get started on your daily schedule. It's jam-packed with choices and deeds, big and little. This is where the power is for you. Nobody else's emotions, traffic or the weather are under your control. Still, you have power over your response. Stoicism does not advocate for emotional repression. It's a matter of first identifying them and then choosing what to do. Sometimes feelings are like unwanted guests, but you have the choice to let them stay in the house or not. Recognize feelings of grief or anger when they arise. After you've ascertained their purpose for being there, lead them out. Your rules, your emotional home. Imagine your thoughts as a garden. Your inner landscape is defined by what you put in it and how you take care of it. You are the architect and the gardener in this garden. Sow seeds of optimism, irrigate them with considerate deeds and pull out negativity. This does not imply ignoring the unpleasant facts of life. It all comes down to selecting the glasses with which you see these facts. Regardless of the storms outside, you can build a haven of calm within yourself when you concentrate on molding your ideas and behaviors. 2. Make use of acceptance's power. Acceptance is a kind of subdued force. Picture yourself on a beach with waves breaking at your feet. The waves are unavoidable, but you can learn to ride them. This is the acceptance that Stoicism teaches us. Giving up or pretending everything is okay when it's not, is not the solution. It's about realizing that there are things beyond our control and learning to move with them rather than against them. Now imagine a day that gets off to a completely bad start. You drop your coffee, run over the bus, or neglect a crucial assignment. It's simple to let these incidents to spoil your entire day or even your attitude. However, what if you choose to view these accidents as normal occurrences? You tidy up the mess, board the next bus, and get started on the chore you forgot to do. This mental change, from irritation to acceptance, can turn a difficult day into a challenge you're willing to take on. Let us introduce Marcus Aurelius to the 21st century. Even if he isn't posting or tweeting, his wisdom is ageless. He would probably tell us that it's like attempting to stop the rain to get worked up over traffic, the weather, or an offensive comment made on the internet. It's useless. Alternatively, when things don't go our way, we have a choice in how we respond. We are defined by our response, not by the circumstances. We can choose to be angry or to take a big breath, accept it, and decide what to do next. Being able to accept yourself doesn't make you helpless. It gives you power. Accepting the things you cannot alter helps you concentrate more on the things you can. You start to resemble a bending, not breaking tree during a storm. Because you're not wasting energy on the uncontrollable, you have more control. Resilience is a skill that is developed through practice. 
It's like a muscle that becomes stronger after every setback, and that's a lesson that should be accepted. 3. Engage in attentive activities. Often misinterpreted as a difficult idea, mindfulness is actually Stoicism's secret weapon against the hectic pace of modern life. Imagine yourself caught up in the chaotic daily grind, your thoughts constantly shifting from regrets from the previous day to concerns for the day ahead. But Stoicism whispers here to stop, take a breath, and be present. Stoic mindfulness isn't about big things happening to you. It's about seeing the magical in the everyday. Every instant is an opportunity to ground oneself in the present, whether you're breathing, sipping coffee, or walking to work. It's about staying in the moment and not getting bogged down in the past or future, whatever you're doing. Now let's apply this. Pay attention to your senses first. What observes do you hear, scent? It's not enough to merely close your eyes and practice meditation. It's about letting kids see more of the outside world. Enjoy every taste of your food. Walk and experience every step. It's transforming routine activities into conscious moments. And if your thoughts do stray, gently bring them back to the present. Perfection isn't the goal here. It all comes down to perseverance. Similar to a muscle is mindfulness. It gets stronger the more you train it. Remembering awareness is being more present in reality rather than running away from it. It involves meeting life's obstacles head-on with a steady heart and a peaceful mind. Practicing mindfulness involves taking a deep breath before responding to stress when it arises. It's realizing that we only have this instant, this very minute, to live, accept it, and give it your all. This is the root of Stoicism, which leads to a life that is profoundly important, but not easy. Simple yet effective, mindfulness is your tool for living a life that is more resilient, focused, and peaceful. Poor, develop resiliency. As we overcome obstacles in life, we frequently find ourselves at a crossroads, doubting our capacity to persevere. But I take it you've been there. I'm feeling overpowered. However, there's a stirring inside. A strength-filled murmur that won't go away. That's resilience, the silent anthem of the Stoics, echoing loudly in the turbulence of the contemporary world. It's about knowing when to bend, but not break. Not about being unbreakable, but about knowing how to stay steady when life throws you curveballs. Epictetus once gently reminded us, not with lofty rhetoric, but with a straightforward insight, that what counts is not what happens to you, but rather how you respond to it. This isn't an attempt to minimize your difficulties. The idea is to use them. Resilience is like a mental muscle that grows stronger every time you take on a new task. It's realizing when you wake up every day that although the outside world may be unpredictable, your response to it doesn't have to be. Resilience is your brush, and you are the artist, using it to paint the difficult areas with tenacity and perseverance. Life is your canvas. Building resilience isn't an easy task, though. It's a road full with obstacles and self-doubt that is frequently uphill. But keep in mind that every step you take, no matter how small, is a step closer to becoming your inner stoic. Instead of running from the discomfort, you begin by accepting it. When faced with hardship head-on, these are the times when you truly test your mettle. Hence, the next time life throws you a curveball, pick it up, analyze it, and grow from it. Being resilient is more than just weathering the storm. It's about learning to dance in the rain with an unwavering spirit. 5. Decide how to respond. You have the ability to respond in a way that changes your surroundings. A crucial lesson that Stoicism imparts to us is that how we respond to the challenges of life shapes who we are. It is more important than ever to embrace this wisdom as soldiers of the modern day in a world gone by. When you experience a setback, remember that you are the master of your emotions, not the circumstance. It's similar to directing your own film. You get to script every situation and every response. Thus, when something unexpected happens, pause and breathe. Selecting a reaction that uplifts oneself is a sign of wisdom, not weakness as demonstrated by this pause. Using this stoic lesson is not about being emotionless or repressed. It's about recognizing emotions such as anger, grief or joy, and then channeling them into positive action. 
You are not fate's caressing leaf in the breeze. As the ship's captain, you must navigate both calm and stormy waters. This method turns obstacles into learning opportunities. Angry about your job? Use that energy to develop your creative side or pick up a new skill. Brokenhearted? Make use of that intensity of feeling to learn more about yourself or to establish deeper connections with others. You are doing more than just getting by by the way you respond. You're succeeding, writing a story of resiliency and development. 6. Control over indulgent cravings. Have you ever found yourself pursuing things that, deep down, you know won't truly make you happy? Chasing shadows. That's where overindulgent desires lead. We are taught to avoid this trap by the concept of stoicism, which is as ancient as the hills and as modern as the dawn of tomorrow. Finding delight in the things that matter most is more important than leading an unhappy existence. This is not a lesson on lowering your standards or accepting mediocrity. It involves focusing more intently and pursuing goals that will actually improve your life. It's like attempting to find calm amid a storm when your mind is overrun with the cacophony of never-ending desires. Cut through the background sounds. The quality of the items in your life matters more than their quantity. What truly makes you happy? Is it the transient excitement of a brand new purchase? Or is it something more enduring, such as the coziness of a private moment to yourself, the fulfillment of a successful endeavor, or the warmth of a strong relationship? These are the priceless items that age beautifully. You're not losing out when you restrict your excessive demands. Rather, you're taking charge of your pleasure. Recall that the wealthiest person is not the one with the greatest possessions, but rather the one with the fewest needs. So what is the best way to implement this? Decluttering, and I don't mean simply clearing out your closet, should come first. Clear your thoughts of the unnecessary desires that clog it. Concentrate on the things that enrich your life, experiences, personal development, and connections. These are the gems that make life more meaningful. And remember to inhale when those surges of yearning for the next big thing arrive. Frequently, the answer to the question, do I really need this? Will it make me a better person? Is no. You should take a moment to reflect and be grateful for what you already have. Recall that while the pursuit of greater heights may never cease, happiness need not await the goal's completion. Living a life that is in line with your genuine ideals is where it's at. Please feel free to use the like button if these insights continue to speak to you and you find value in them. It's a fantastic method to broaden our learning community and impart this expertise to others. 7. Practice Virtue Do you have any idea how difficult it may be to balance the demands of life with your moral principles? However, Stoicism may teach us a valuable lesson. Practice virtue. It's a straightforward but insightful manual for staying composed amid the craziness of contemporary life. It's not about big gestures here. It concerns modest everyday deeds of courage, discernment, honesty and self-control. These qualities are the moorings in our turbulent environment because of their ageless wisdom. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, first say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do. There is more to this quote than just words. It's an exhortation to act. It begins with introspection and figuring out who you want to be. Next, it's a matter of coordinating your activities with this vision. Act composed under stressful circumstances if you want to be tranquil. Face your fear head on if you truly appreciate bravery. You are defined by your deeds, not by your surroundings. You create a calming fortress around yourself by putting these values into everyday practice. Not only for the major obstacles, but also for the little ones that come up every day. Even in the rapidly advancing digital world, the stoic road is sensible and applicable. It involves making thoughtful decisions. Choose to stop and think when the world is pushing you too quickly. Accept wrath and fury when they come knocking on your door and then let them go. These are the times when you put your stoic virtues into effect. It's not about perfection, remember that. It has to do with advancement. By exhibiting these qualities on a daily basis, you go beyond simply getting by. One step at a time, you are becoming an expert at living a calm life.
Stoicism is essentially the dedication to virtue as a means of achieving inner serenity. It recognizes that life is ephemeral. You are aware that when we encounter difficulties, the world doesn't stop, and neither should we. Accepting life's transience is a crucial stoic lesson that keeps us grounded in reality, particularly during trying times. Even in its most unpredictable forms, life is never still. One instant here, gone the next, disappeared the following. This is a call to action rather than a cause for hopelessness. We are exhorted to make the most of every circumstance, to live completely in the present, and to treasure the passing moments. It's about learning to dance in the rain instead of waiting for the storm to pass, and realizing that change is the only thing that is constant. The Stoic perspective on life's transient nature is encapsulated in Marcus Aurelius's vivid image. Time is a river, a violent current of events, glimpsed once and already carried past us, and another follows and is gone. It serves as a reminder that our time on Earth is finite, and that we should live in the moment rather than worrying about the past or the future. The most important thing is how we spend the time we have. This does not imply that we stop thinking about the future. Rather, it means that we approach it with the knowledge that anything can happen at any time. It's about striking a balance between living completely in the moment and planning for the future. Now consider how this knowledge can change the way you live your daily life. Consider the present, the only moment you have to act and change things, rather than holding on to the good old days or worrying about unknown future events. The present is actual and concrete, whereas the past and future are only memories. You can develop a tranquility that is unaffected by life's unavoidable changes by acknowledging the fleeting essence of existence. This is about finding stability in the midst of life's unavoidable storms, not about detachment or apathy. Accept this stoic lesson, and no matter what may be going on around you, you will have a source of inner peace. It serves as a potent reminder that, despite external changes, your capacity to maintain composure and resilience endures, serving as a ray of hope amidst chaos. 9. The Importance of Being Thankful The fast-paced world of today frequently drowns us in regrets and wants, causing us to lose sight of the incredible beauty of life itself. However, Seneca, the ancient philosopher, fully believed in the stoic beacon that shines through this haze, the tremendous power of thankfulness. Saying thank you isn't just for the major victories. It's also about acknowledging the little daily marvels that we often take for granted. This stoic lesson sharpens our focus on what really matters and is more than just a philosophy. Seneca taught that gratitude is an active interaction with the world rather than a passive emotion. Finding reasons to be glad even when things don't go our way is the real test of thankfulness. It's easy to feel grateful when life is going well. It's about finding the silver lining in a sodden day or learning from a botched project. By changing our viewpoint to fully value the range of events, we can develop a resilient and happy heart. More than just elevating our spirits, this stoic discipline turns setbacks into chances for development and wisdom. A quote from Seneca that parallels the stoic admonition to live in the present with thankfulness is, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. It's important to start small. Take note of the comforting sound of your favorite song, the grin of a stranger, or the warmth of the sun on your skin. By appreciating these small pleasures, we develop a habit of thankfulness that strengthens us to withstand life's unavoidable turbulence. By doing this, we discover a source of inner calm and contentment that no outside event can steal, enabling us to flourish rather than just survive. This is the root of Stoicism, which leads to a life that is both serene and incredibly fulfilling. 10. Never stop growing and learning. My friend, challenges are the uninvited but unavoidable visitors in our lives. They arrive unexpectedly and frequently go unnoticed, yet they bring a gift, the chance for tremendous development. Stoicism encourages us to greet these times with the zeal of a fighter, not with surrender.
These conflicts with life's unknowns are where we truly develop our strength. Who then is invincible? The one who cannot be upset by anything outside their reasoned choice, Epictetus replied. This ageless wisdom serves as our guide on the path to personal development. It encourages us to shift our attention from outside, uncontrollable occurrences to our own interior decisions and reactions. The real measure of progress is not how big the problems are that we encounter, but rather how we decide to handle them. It's all about the little choices we make every day that mold our fate and character. We establish a strong and resilient character through seemingly little decisions, which is evidence of our dedication to personal development. Our path is distinct, distinctive, and cannot be compared to anybody else's. Every move, every misstep, is ours to take responsibility for and grow from. We develop not only via reading and thinking, but also through experiencing life, interacting with the outside world, and putting our morals and ideas to the test in the actual world. This is the core of Stoicism in the current era, a pragmatic, applied approach to wisdom. It's about getting your hands dirty and plunging into life's muck, knowing that there's a chance to come out stronger, smarter, and more resilient from it all. With bravery in your heart and an open mind to the teachings ahead, embrace your trip. These 10 Stoic philosophy-infused teachings provide a useful manual for handling life's diversions and uncertainties in a cool, collected manner. Recall that genuine serenity originates inward. If you find value in these observations and would like to learn more about Stoic wisdom, please hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe for future updates. On this path of self-improvement, remain Stoic and connected.